No, we don't need the fan on. All right, we should be live. That's it. All right, can you see the, the video window? Uh, let's see. For my meme image? Yes. It's amazing what just getting one letter wrong <laughs> changes everything. <laughs> I love my whore family. I'm guessing um, she's still learning the L's. <laughs> 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 I thought that was pretty good. Oh yeah, I wonder. Uh, I wonder if somebody got in trouble for that one. Probably. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, that's uh, squirrel. That one is uh, typical. They turn that shit into anything. Mm hmm. This is pretty good. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that? Actually doing that to somebody? <laughs> you just pull it out of your pocket. Dude, this just came out of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker be shitting himself. <laughs> That's really fucked up. All right, next... All right, let's see how many people get this. I'm not going to say anything. You just got to read it, and, and the smarter people are going to, and, and probably slightly older, are going to get this. All right, Janet got it. Yep. All right, I see some people are getting it. She's a good girl, loves her llama, loves cheese, it's and asparagus too. <laughs> I That's that one of those songs that just drive me crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny though. It does kind of almost sound like that. This is pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> choo choo that's so racist <laughs> it's funny though <laughs> alright and last but not least Yes, we hear you, honey. Tiger, you missed all the memes. I'm not really here. I'm just getting set up. I'll be back. Well, she says it like that, you don't even mind. Yeah, they, uh, they just used that same picture for all of those Mexican Word of the Day memes. All right, well, should I roll the intro by, by us a little time? Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right, there we go. You have taken over your frequency. Activate not in me. Brought to you by Vaping Underground Live, featuring Vapor Joe. Uh, I am one of your hosts, uh, Vapor Joe. Tiger, Tiger. Hands to God, I am not. You can be the dark host in silence. Nitro Bex. Hey guys, this is Nitro Bex. Tiny Vapor. I don't want to get heated again because it just really, really pisses me off. And Smokey. I have one Smokey. Vaping's biggest giveaways. There's a lot. 
say about me. You can say that I'm mean. Biggest guests. You can say that I'm a bully. And biggest show. And for the most part, you would be right. Mod in these stars now. I used to wear little shorts on the job and whatnot, and they would fire bricks and little pipes and bottles of beer at me and whatnot. Hey, where are the white women at? white women ass <laughs> yeah, well, <that> <laughs> um, the context of that scene is literally <laughs> one of the most it, it's literally one of the greatest moments in comedy you know it's he was so genius because like really everything he was doing was making fun of racism like and but he did it in that so over the top way like, and it's funny, like, if those movies were made now, there's no, like, people would get, you know, the snowflakes would have a shit fit, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck them. <laughs> but it was genius, you know? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, just uh, a word of programming note here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Nitro's going to be a little late, and it doesn't look like Courtney's doing the show today because her back hurts. Uh, and, oh, Tiger just showed up and fixed her headlight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the best. She's like, clang, clang, clang. she doesn't work good on when she's only firing on one cylinder. So, mm. <laughs> so uh, now we don't what know now? exactly what, 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 what meow. What 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 now? What meow? What meow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, we're not sure when Nitro is going to be here, but he should be here shortly. When did he come last week? Do you remember? It'll probably be around the same time. I, I just I know he had to work overtime, uh, but the way it works out, it's not that long. So he didn't. He, he was only like maybe fifteen minutes late last. It didn't feel like very long, very far into the show. So he'll, uh, okay. he'll uh, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Okay. Well then, um, all right. So let's just do this. Uh, it's going to be a short one because we only have three people right now. So welcome to Mod Heavy. Welcome to the biggest show in vaping on the biggest network in vaping, vaping underground live. I am one of your hosts, Vapor Joe, and of course, next to me is the gorgeous, beautiful, sexy, uh, broken headlight tiger tiger. <laughs> uh, and beneath he keeps me, keeps doing that. And beneath me, uh, we have our uh, our uh, resident. Um, uh, producer, geek, the man, the myth, the legend, the myth, smile and vaping, uh, Scope 666. Like I said, Nitro will be here shortly, and Courtney's out for the evening. Uh, so, uh, me and Tiger Tiger uh, went to Pennsylvania. We went to Intercourse. Uh, <laughs> Gotta love that name. Uh, Tiger, Tiger found out some really interesting other town names. Oh, Pennsylvania the, has the jokes a, write themselves. The Pen, Pennsylvania has by far the most odd, bizarro, like you can't even believe the real names. Like I used to, I had a girlfriend a couple back that lived in Pittsburgh, so we used to go all the way across and back all the time. And the, you see them as you drive through, and you're like, "What does that say?" <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like. Well, I find it interesting. I find it interesting even how they arrange them. Uh, for example, you've got bird in hand and, uh, of course, blue ball. And uh, then you have Virginville and Paradise. And interestingly enough, smack dab between blue ball and Paradise is intercourse. Yes. 
<laughs> it's like it was by design. Somebody had a good sense of humor when they were when they were naming that place. Well, intercourse actually means good conversation. Ah. That's what it's meant to stand for. Yeah. Uh, it's meant. It's meant, it, which is a load of bullshit. But that's what they say. It's it's being used for is for good conversation. That's where all the Amish people go and talk. You gotta wonder how many times, you know, people have said, "Hey, we're having intercourse and intercourse." <laughs> I'm sure that's those words have been uttered a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. So, um, our favorite spot in intercourse is what we call the uh, Best Western Inn and Suites. It's a gorgeous little hotel um, down in the heart of uh, intercourse, right by the uh, Kettle Kitchen Village. Uh, it's just the very uh, quaint, small town, super quiet, super just like at night. Tiger will tell you, it's just. Oh, it is so wonderful. I love quiet. Like some people can sleep with noise or they like white noise or they like the TV on. I can't do it. I love silence. Silence so, so deep that you can hear your hair grow. And uh, I, I like to describe that place as, as being so quiet that you can hear a pin drop a half mile away. And I, I really think you could. It is terrific. Yeah. And um, the cool thing is around the, if you're, if you're on the road, like after six or seven o'clock, the whole town is yours. Yeah. Literally. Because we drive around uh, looking at everything. And... Um, well, I got a kick out of it this time because we found ourselves in rush hour traffic in Amish country. So suddenly the roads were filled with horse-drawn carts, uh, people pulling little wagons, guys walking with their lunch boxes. <laughs> That's what rush hour looks like out there. I like it. It's cool. Joe, you would appreciate it. So me with my you know drummer hearing and tinnitus and all that, this is what I came up with. This is bad. So I have one of those little sound machines that does like different kinds of white noise, right? I keep one of those kind of further away from me. And then I have a fan, like a little fan. It's actually my drumming fan, but I steal it. And I and I have that like really close to me. And I kind of put that on medium. And it's the way the, the two sounds blend together. The white noise and the real fan blend together and sound almost like a wall air conditioner. <laughs> which I need because every other house I've ever lived in had like a wall AC. So I'm just kind of used to that. Like I used yeah. to run it even in the winter, you know, just cause even just on fan only, just cause I need to hear the, that sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is what I came up with the white noise machine plus a regular fan. And the white noise machine does like the bassy part. Cause I have it on this really, uh, it has different settings and I have it on more of a bassy white noise and then i have the, the fan and the blend the blend of the two if you close your eyes you almost think it's a wall air conditioner it's really funny yeah you know if you if that would that would kill poor tiger yeah. see i love a, I love a fan but she just it's 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 like garlic to her vampire it is yeah. it, it is well when so you got when you have the ring in your ears you have to have something to fixate on or your brain goes crazy because then your brain starts paying attention to the ring and it actually gets louder and louder, and like it starts to make you nuts. So, you, you need I need some sound there that, that I can fixate on, and then that keeps the ring from being annoying. So. Yeah, I thought they had medicine for tinnitus. I don't know if they do. I never, <laughs> never tried it. Oh. I know I've seen holistic stuff. I don't know if they have like legit, like really works kind of stuff, but. Uh, uh, Brown noise, I haven't asked her to do, but she does do white noise. I tested that once. And she, What's she, brown she, noise? Yeah, I'm not the sure. Brown, is that the brown I, noise? I know what white is, and I know what pink <laughs> is. I don't know about brown. <laughs> it sounds like, wait, this might be brown noise. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's brown noise. <laughs> I thought that, that was the brown note. It's supposed to be the note that you get a certain tone will make somebody shit themselves. Yeah. That's that's, that's <laughs> what the I think it is. The Mythbusters tried to do that. They tried to find the brown note, and they all wore diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Could you picture that? Talk about crowd control. Well, talk about stinky crowd control. Yeah. Because I don't care if you're a terrorist or not. If you take a, if you shit yourself, it's over. Yeah. You, you lose. Like at the whole, like a whole regiment, are like a whole like platoon regiment. All of a sudden, just instantly you, you, you send out the brown note <laughs> and everybody just fucking shits themselves dude it would be over you'd win that war 
That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I still uh, love that meme. That was uh, it was kind of a meme against Korea. It's like how we're going to defeat the Korean army, and they show all the generals, and these guys have just medals, like just crazy, and it like. <laughs> We're gonna defeat them with a really powerful electromagnet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all the generals would just get sucked up because <laughs> of their, their metals. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> okay, so um, anyway, so yes, uh, and then um, the one thing I love the most about uh, that place is about six, seven o'clock. The place is, you know, it shuts down. Now, I mean, there's modern conveniences there. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the hotel is absolutely gorgeous. It's got beautiful fireplaces and that nice Napa Valley wood. And it's just really, really nice. But you'll always hear, like, in the distance, the little click clacking of the of the horses as they're coming home from church or whatever they're doing. And that kind of just, that's like, it's almost like, um, like a, uh, a, a sign that you know it's the end of the day. You know, it's really cool, and their food is fantastic, of course, because they out there, they, their buffets are called smorgasbords, and we wound up going to Miller's a few times, uh, and uh, that was that was quite good. That was really good. Okay, I just uh, got educated on brown noise. I found it, and so I think what I have it set to is more brown noise than white noise. So brown noise is basically just more bass heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like you roll off the treble part of white noise and kind of maybe boost the bass a little bit, and that's kind of like a brown noise. What's the pink noise besides... Well, pink noise brown. is every freak... I, this I know from my music world. So pink noise is used to tune PA systems. So it's it's literally 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz all going at the same time. And the, it actually makes a lot of sense. You If you crank that through a PA and then you use a microphone that's perfectly calibrated to be flat and place it there and and then have it display on a screen, you know, a frequency analyzer shows you, you know, as many bands as possible from 20 to 20K. Whatever it's shaped like, now you know what you what EQ you need to do to try to get it back to flat. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you're, you're, you know you're putting perfectly flat in. If you're not getting perfectly flat out, you you put you make your EQ like that, and then you end up with flat. You know what I mean? Right. I thought pick noise was something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they call it pink, but I dread pink. to think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so um, yeah. All right, so um, now what? Uh, uh, until Nitro gets here, Tiger's gonna have to do the segues, which means it's going to be full of non-disgusting things. So Tiger, good luck. Anyway, uh, so let's do vape mail. Uh, me and Tiger did not get any vape mail because we. Basically, stopped, left Mod Envy, went to Lancaster, came back yesterday, done. So uh, we had no package. We had no packages show up. That's odd for me. All right. I live and breathe by Amazon. There's always an Amazon box within three days coming to my house. I don't care what it is. It could be something as simple as battery. I'm pretty bad with Amazon too. <laughs> you know, I do. I do my. I do my dry goods shopping through their Amazon pantry. I, I get, you know, everything from vitamins to ass wipes come from. Here, my latest Joe Lightning deal. I couldn't resist. It's actually really nice. Little a aluminum. Little stand. Little aluminum phone stand. <laughs> it was on a lightning deal. It popped up in my feed. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> so it's a little deal. It's a little game job it's, deal. It's just decent. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a little spread so you can have it charging while it's on the stand. So It's just so decent. It's, it's wonderful. It's a fierce stand. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, so, um, so there's always a box. There's always a box in my house. But there's always a box uh, outside my house. Oh, you mean week. a cardboard box? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three days. Tiger is so not paying attention. She's doing something else. <laughs> She's just like, oh, no. um, anyways, I'm but, doing my job. Uh, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's hard. Uh, oh, Jesus, I'm setting myself up all night tonight. Yeah. Um. All right, so um, yeah. so there's always a box coming from Amazon. So um, we got no packages this week. Tiger did get me something. I haven't gotten it yet, but from what I understand, I have a gold LeBray spike coming. A true 14 karat gold, gold LeBray spike coming. Yes. To replace the silver one. 
Wait, I haven't. Well, not replace. I love the silver too, but um, I know you like gold. And did you, you know like when that. I first started vaping, I was accused that this was magnetic. Somebody said it was fake. It was magnets. You know, people sometimes get magnetic piercings. Oh Jesus! Oh, so like, oh, that, <laughs> that's I was just like what? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, I can I can attest to the fact that it is not magnetic. And I poke her often with it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, so Party anyway, foul. so we got we got no vape mail. Uh, what I wanted to do, though, I did finally talk to uh, Eric over at 101 about. Well, first off, he hits me up at Facebook. He's pissed because of all. Because last week, remember, we hit up his Facebook page and told him to. Uh, oh, the hosting. More. He's like, "Fuck you, man! I pay more than a dollar for hosting. I pay like thirty five hundred dollars a month." I'm like, "Dude, you pay a lot for hosting." <laughs> Uh, it's like I was paying less. For that money. kind of money, that shit should never be down. There should be a cash. At the, at, well, you know? he's working on. So, all right, I'm not supposed to say what it is, so I can at least say something. Uh, as far as this, he's working on something big, and it was taking um, bandwidth away from his site. Hmm. That's all I can say. Well, that's um, cool. Yeah. He's up to something. Something. Big. Yes. And uh, I'm I'm going to buy that uh, mod that Tiger got, but I'm going to get it in black, and then I'm going to be picking up a few of those uh, uh, Majesty kits uh, for giveaways. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to give one away today. I didn't put anything in the in the group, but uh, tonight I'll give away one of those Majesty kits. It'll just probably be either black carbon fiber or red carbon fiber, and it'll come with the tank and everything. And they're cheap; they're only like thirty nine bucks. That thing is the king of the beater mod. That absolutely is the uh, the king regulated beater mod for sure. I mean that thing is built to to take hits. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Uh, so did you get any Vega? Uh, no, not this week. The last thing I think I got was that mod for her and, and the batteries for her and stuff. But uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then then we're we're asked out on vape mail. Um. But, um, okay, so, um, I guess we can move to our, uh, our first giveaway. Well, I'm, I'm still a little scarred by some of the conversation we've had. I didn't break up my sign yet, but I, I almost felt the need, you know, with all that discussion of, of brown noise and the brown note and everything like that. Now, I, I, you know, I don't know what you got, what's on you mind, what's on your mind. I can only imagine, you know, that scenario you were talking about, Joe, where if they played the brown note and everyone had a problem and, you know, what if you were, uh, what if you were, you know, vaping at the time, then I guess it would be the Vupu note. No. Um, and uh, on that note, why don't we give away a gold Vupu drag from 101? Well, speaking of 101 vape, all right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to put a link in the room to their clearance section because it is a... Uh... Hold on here. Uh, copy link location. Um, give me one sec here. Here, I'm just gonna chuck this. This is right. This is from my blog. Uh, on, uh, right to their going right to their clearance section. I don't know if you guys can uh, click that link or not. Yeah, you can. Um, that'll take you right to their clearance section. That is where all the goodness and happiness is right now on 101, babe. Okay, that. That location is awesome. They have some really good deals going on right now. Now, the one thing I'm going to give away later, somebody asked, are you giving away just the, the, the mod or the kit? I'm going to give away the kit, but you're not going to get the one with resin because the ones, the kit that has the carbon fiber is, wait, oh, shit, are they in stock? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We might be fucked. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, you know what then? I will just give away um, I'll just give away a resin mod. Okay? So no no tank. Okay? Just just the mod that's resin. So it's going to basically it's basically going to be this style. I mean, I have one here. This is the green resin, which is my favorite of them all, but this is what it looks like. And they sell this at 101 Vape right now. Uh, this is this the display on this is so crisp and sharp. It is just gorgeous, um, and it's heavy. That's another thing I like about it. 
Uh, anyway, if you go over to the clearance section, they have a ton of stuff in there, uh, anywhere between 50 to 70% off. And some of the mods, like I said, like the Majesty, they got a Pulse BF, uh, I think that's a Squonker. Um, they have the Revenger Mini um, in there. They have a Rouleau in there, the, the 2700, uh, 2999. Okay, you want to talk about cheap? Twenty nine ninety nine for a brand new Rouleau twenty seven hundred. They use the new twenty seven hundred batteries, or it uses eighteen six fifties with the adapter they give you. Um, let's see, what else do they got in there? They got a two in one Fusion uh, forty four ninety nine, which is a really nice mod. Uh, they got some. Uh, they got some smaller mods like the. Um, let's see here, the D nineteens. They're much like an AIO kit or uh, or something similar, like a vape pen by Smock. Uh, it's fourteen ninety nine. Uh, let's see what else do they have. They have uh, the ZLED, which is thirty nine bucks, which is cool. They also got the Procore motor, uh, which is thirty nine bucks. And then they have the uh, Cuboid Light, which basically has the, the same style of screen as the Procore, but. Uh, it, uh, it's only 29 bucks, and then they got those um, uh, nitros here. Oh, they'll be popping in, in a second. Then they got the 50 watt, uh, I think it's this. What is that? C9? I can't really get ready, it's just you pop in, and then I have to switch show files, and then we just see where everybody lands, and I fix it. <laughs> There's no way to pre do it because you don't know where people are gonna land, it's just coordinates. It's not by name, it's by X and Y boxes, that's it. Oh, they also have that water-cooled mod. <clears throat> Remember that water-cooled mod we were talking about for a while, the uh, AT7? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Thing. They got them in stock for 49 bucks. At one time, they were like 110 bucks. Yeah. Uh, they got some DNA 75s in there uh, by uh, Paranormal, uh, which is actually... Uh, I'm a big fan of the DNA board, even though they're kind of still a little outdated, but... There's something about the safety of a DNA board that I like a lot. Uh, and they're, they're the DNA 75 C's. They're a little bit different. They have, a, I think, a different display. Now, they're always going to be more expensive. You know, those are in the $90 range. But yeah, you can American, it. that's why. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there's just a ton of shit to look at. I mean, they got, uh, let's see here, they got Predators in there. They got a Predator Gold for for $39.99, which I actually have that one. Oh, thank you, honey. You guys remember the eye care? That little pod system? Seven dollars and ninety nine cents. They got some good stuff. I love you. Okay. Okay. Let me do the show. <laughs> Did you, Aww. Get, did you see her run by? <laughs> they, they're they're looking after you. Yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, so anyway, this exact mod right here is there for thirty nine ninety nine. I paid sixty four ninety nine when it first came out to so give you an idea of how much how cheap they've been down. So uh, get over to one one babe, check it out. Uh, there is no coupon code because their prices are so cheap and their shipping is super fast. Tag, I'll tell you, because she just bought a shit ton of stuff from them, uh, and they came pretty quick. I did. I did. Well, we've been talking about the EGSC we're saying you're going to grab one. Um, that's mine. I love it. And, of course, the Light Up Baby Bees. Check it out. Oh, let me uh, switch files here. Hold on. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving this setup. And it came really really quick as usual but uh <laughs> and not even close <laughs> i love how it, like it's just potluck where everybody's gonna land <laughs> i have the you have to what i have the potato mic tonight nice the potato mic yeah i forgot to bring my good headset home so i'm i'm using the webcam yeah <sighs> Miss to... Trixie wants to know, do you mind the light flashing all the time? Honestly, no. You hardly notice it when you're vaping it because it's down just sort of out of your vision. I mean, vape the setup you're on. Do you really notice the atomizer glass? You know, you kind of got to really look down to see that. So, um, 
I notice it more if I'm passing a mirror or something. <laughs> but I just like it. It's cool. I don't mind it at all because I don't see it. The fuck's a tank? This is funny. Oh. So my 10 year old brings me ice cream with a fork. <laughs> I love it. Oh, hey, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. It's like something like Ben and Jerry's, you can use a fork. I actually need to find a spork. Go on Amazon, they'll have it. I'll buy, you could buy like a metal spork. Like, yeah, they do have those. They're actually popular for like camping, that kind of thing. All right, so anyway, uh, now what are they giving away again? I'm sorry. 101 Vape is giving away the gold voodoo drag. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the one that. Boo -boo. Yeah, that's the one that I thought looked cool, but I couldn't possibly carry a mod that just says drag right across the side. But it is a sick looking mod. It, it's a really, really well built, nice looking mod, besides for the drag part. Uh, but anyway, let's do this one lucky winner, Tiger, roll. Oh, all right. Well, just one moment. I have to open that screen now. And, oh, 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 we need to talk just a little longer. Can you talk just a little longer? Yeah, uh, Nitro, did just, you get Just give me now? a sec to start that up. Okay. Oh, no. that's right. We didn't get... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was going right. to try and come no, up baby, with something, I'll, all right. but... Where did Scope go? I'm right here. Oh, you're not in your... Oh, there you go. Now was, you're in your box. I, I just all right. ate my three bites well, ice cream with a fork do... for my daughter. <laughs> like, if you want, like... Not vape mail. I got gun mail. Oh Jesus! Did you? Did somebody win, honey? I'm sorry. I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for it. There it is. It's in the room now. It took a minute to come up. I thought it wasn't working for a sec. Is it McFallick? <laughs> it is McFallick. Congratulations, McFallick. We need you to email prizes at 101vape.com. That's prizes at 101vape.com. Let them know that you won the gold Voo Poo Drag on Mod Envy and include your screen name, your real name, and your address information. Congratulations to you, McFallick. And the rest of you, please do check out 101 Bait and get yourself a light up atomizer while you're there. That's right. <laughs> Baby beast. Well, and use yours. With all the stuff uh, going on with um, all the crazy regulations, I'm getting more gun mail. What do you mean crazy? Recent, what, what crazy regulations? What are you talking about? They're looking at doing more fucking gun bans. Oh, okay. Like real guns, not Nerf guns. Oh, so, okay, okay. so I got my M lock for grip, and um, I actually get it sent me <laughs> because I, I don't like. Sorry to make this gun talk for just a second, but since you were trying to fill the time, I don't like the AR platform because if I want to shoot a 22, I'll shoot a 22 Ruger. Okay. Not a fancy dressed up 22. So uh, I got set me, which is a, a 308. Um, it's based off of the G3 platform because I know you like the guns. I do. I love Have you seen the Argentinian set me? It's basically an HK. But from Argentina? Oh, uh, no. No, I did not. Oh, they're beautiful guns. Anyhow, <laughs> speaking about guns and stuff that won't blow up if you treat it correctly, why don't we give away a perfect starter kit from Mist Oh, okay. Um, How'd you like that transition? <laughs> it was good, but I wanted to ask you. Um, is, this yeah. your, is this your last um... week of overtime? I hope to God so. Okay. I wasn't supposed to be OT this week. I, I didn't find out till last night. That's why I posted last night. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, I ran home as fast as I could. You did great. No worries. We're yeah, just glad you you're here. You weren't that late. I mean, like I said, you'd be you'd only miss a little, and that's that's the way it went down. So yeah. All right. Let's see well, what's going on. Go on, you could talk. I was just talking uh, what's going on at this job. I'm just taking a look. Miss Hub, they're giving away tonight an Eco or a Joytech Ego AIO Eco starter kit. Because fuck you and long names. <laughs> <laughs> like right. back in our day, we could just have a Joytech Ego. God, I still no. have my Ego batteries. 
now it's got to be like the Ego AIO Eco Starter Kit. Now, I actually like this starter kit. Uh, it's reasonably priced. It's only $16.99. Go figure. My, I, my started off with the Ego... $250 fucking dollars. <laughs> no, no. The, well, yeah, the Ego... Um, Ego T. And, right. And um, I paid $110 for that kit from Vapor, uh, Vapor King. And uh, that's that was my first first kit along with uh, a few decaying juices and on one of which i still vape which is the um the one uh the, the clove flavor which i still love to this day I, kang just makes such a great uh you, clove flavor you let me try that once and i gotta say i was blown away by that how good that yeah. was i mean that is spot on <laughs> the real thing like <laughs> it is impressive yep now the cool thing about this kit is uh, the design uh, I like the, the the slim form factor, and I like the fact that the heads are black. They're not silver. They actually <coughs> color the head. Mm -hmm. uh, so it kind of has this whole um, just, I don't know, this cool looking thing. So if you get like a clear juice, it just looks really neat. Instead of just a standard silver center, you're going to have a black center, and it says Joytech on it in white. It's really cool looking. Uh, and again, it's only $16.99. It's everything you need to start vaping. Uh, out of the box for sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. You have somebody quit smoking. Uh, the the heads are reasonable, and uh, you know, again, it's uh, let me see, what is the uh, what's the uh, let's see, a six hundred fifty mAh battery. So that'll last you probably four hours. Uh, the tank is a little small; it's only one point two mils, but it's a starter. Well, it's a starter kit, you know. Uh, but you get a, free, a few heads with it. Uh, you get uh, an extra tank. You get all kinds of cool stuff. So um, there's a lot you can do with this for just $16.99. Uh, now, they also have uh, a juice that they're very, very proud of. Um, it is called the um, uh, the uh, lime and, uh, lemon, lemon berry. Okay. And supposedly, this particular flavor has won some kind of award at uh, Vape Showcase St. Louis for best fruit flavor. Um, a little expensive, but you know, it won an award. <laughs> so uh, it's twenty nine ninety five for one hundred twenty mils. Uh, a little expensive, in my opinion. But uh, if it's all it's cracked up to be, then uh, then it's then it's probably well worth it. Um, also, if you go to Mist Hub, you'll notice that you're going to sit there for hours. You can go through the site. It'll take hours to go through. They got fucking ton of juices, tons of mods, tons of batteries, tons of heads, tons of tanks, tons of every fucking thing. Um, have you seen the new smoke? Does it have it? The new smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, they come. I think smoke comes out a new mod every week. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, really. I mean, the new lettered smoke. So. You know how they used to do the Chinese food menu? You know, you had the number four with the number oh, three yeah. and the number 48 too. Sigali used to do that with the... with the Right. Well, now they do like the A-priv, the B-priv, the C-priv, the D-priv, the E-priv, the H-priv, the I-priv. We're all the way up to the T-priv now. Have you seen the T-priv? No. Is it cool? It's actually pretty decent looking. It's got some nice features to it. I don't know if I'd want to vape it because it doesn't look like it would be that comfortable to hold. But it comes with the baby beast. I just put the link in the room. Okay, I'm looking at it. It actually looks kind of cool, like, except for the super fruity version. A super fruity version. Yeah, it's super fruity. Fruity. I mean, if you're, this, if you're into the super fruity, like, super rainbow, Simon says, fucking touch the battery door, I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm looking at it now. It basically has the same. Uh, the pribs are all the squeezy side kind of um, of uh, fire button. I actually like those. I think I don't know something about them. I just like better than a button. Um, but um, just I mean, gonna... I still rock the alien. Well, yeah, alien and predators are great mods, man. I somehow yep. bypassed those. <laughs> I never got one. They also have the Vupu drag there. The Vupu drag. Like, that is taking off everywhere. And I gotta tell you, I didn't get vape mail, but um, Ryan, Ryan was serious. Mm -hmm. He actually got some. He's using the new bottom feed. 
And he's using the Vandy Vape Pulse, and he actually kind of likes it. The Vandy Vape? The Vandy Vape. It sounds so, I don't know, fruity. Like, I'm vaping on the Vandy Vape. Yeah, it think. sounds so Radio Shock. I know. It's like, I'm feeling Vandy. There's a link to the Vandy Vape. It's actually not that bad of a little bottom feeder. I'm just checking out some of the other stuff that I have missed. The Pro Color Kit and stuff like that. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, one lucky winner is going to win this uh, lovely little Ego uh, stick um, kit. Let's do this, Tiger. All righty. Give it a sec to come up. Scoop's coming up wow. with a new drum beat. <laughs> it is uh, really taking its sweet time tonight. <clears throat> no, no, no! It's not going to put it in the room. No, no. We'll have to. We'll have to uh, trust you, Tiger. All right. Well, I, I have an honest face. So our winner is a terminus survivor. A terminus survivor. And let me just copy that name. I'm gonna Walking cut dead. over to the winner's info. Oh, I I don't know. I I never watched, so uh, a I terminus watch survivor. It, we need you to email social at mistub.com. That's social at mistub.com. Let them know that you won the Joytech Ego AO Eco starter kit. <laughs> I I can't make Say this stuff that three up. Times first. On mod NV. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> please include your screen name, your real name, your address information, and a Terminus Survivor. They also need a copy of your photo ID. So please include that in your claim email. Congratulations to you and the rest of you. Can visit them over at misthub.com. Congratulations, winners. All right. Um, so, Nitro. What's new with you as far as your 3D printing? Have you made anything new, special, exotic, awesome? Just running out a bunch of parts orders. Stupid stuff. For what? I see, um, nerf shit. Oh, do you actually sell now online? Uh, not online. Face to face. Oh. Like, the big box of shit up there okay. is all going out to the war with me tomorrow, which is about 100 bucks. Oh, very cool. Okay. So. It pays for itself. Me? So, I got a question. Is that a Pokemon Go shirt or is that a Catching Fire shirt? This is a Pokemon Go shirt. Tiger got for me from, um, was it Wish? Yep. Yep, those came from Wish. Yeah, I can actually wear normal shirts now. And you know what else happened today? And you guys are going to laugh at me. Today I have wore a pair of for the first time I've wore a pair of shoes slash sneakers in seven months. Because normally I was literally having to wear slippers because my feet would swell because of my injury. So today I was able to actually wear uh, a pair of normal Under Armour. No, no, no. These are DC, <laughs> these are DCs. Okay. Um, and I'm. I, I, because I'm, and I'm so used to walking, and I have these really nice slippers. Now, Tiger will be happy to be able to burn these slippers because she hates them so much. <laughs> oh, oh, they were nice when you got them. Right now, they're nasty. I mean, imagine a pair of like bedroom slippers made of corduroy with a rubber sole being worn through sleet, through snow, through rain, through like they've been through everything the U.S. Postal Service goes through. So, yeah, no. Okay, U.S. No, Postal Service. U.S. Postal Service doesn't go through all that shit. Let me just put that out there for you. <laughs> they would be pristine. All right, all right, Postal all right. Service. Well, the old ads, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I got a question. And Tiger, don't say anything because I'm going to give Joe a chance to either win points or lose points. Okay. What oh, team oh, are oh, you oh, wearing? Oh, this is Valor. You came back with that answer quick. Do you actually play? Yes. I don't think he played. The tiger got me addicted. <laughs> oh my god. It was funny. It was when he first came back from the hospital and there wasn't much like we couldn't walk around, we couldn't go places, but he was so housebound and he was bored. And uh I, I he said let's <laughs> 
let's just go driving. Let's go driving. And he said, well, why don't you play your game while we go? And I didn't, th- I didn't want to bore him with all that. I said, oh, no, no, no. He says, no, I don't mind. We'll, we'll go around. So I used to do that and just drive him around. And after a while, he's like, well, give me the phone. I'll spin the stops for you and it'll be faster. So it's like, okay. <laughs> and then it got to the point where he's like, well, let's go out, but we're only going if you let me work your phone because I like doing that. And it's like, I started to laugh and I said, pretty soon you're going to have your own account. Oh, no, that'll never happen. I yeah. don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. And then a week later, he had an account and uh, now he's level 35. And <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went pretty quick. I went nuts. See, with me in games, it's either I don't play for fun. I play to win. Like, if I have to play somebody in Monopoly, I don't care if you're six years old or 60. I will fucking crush you. <laughs> uh, and that's just how I am with games. I just, I am very competitive. So now I'm like, Tiger, let's go. She's like, and I'm just like, kill everybody. Let's go. Let's take every gym in the area. Let's do it. <laughs> She's just like, I don't want to. That's mean. <laughs> I have to slow him down because we have a great group in the area. And it's like, listen, you got to leave some of the gyms for the other players. Okay. We can't take it all. But anyway, that was today's catch. Ray nice. Quaza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the game is Pokemon Go. And so did you go with Valor just so you could have the black and the red? No, no, I went with Valor because Tiger was Valor. But I also have another account, which is Mystic, uh, just in case we have to knock our Valor accounts out of gyms um, because they've been uh, in there too long or something. So I actually have a a level 30 Mystic and a level 35 Valor. (laughs) I'm surprised you didn't go with uh, Valor just so you could have the red and black to match your logo because I know that's kind of your label. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I hear you. You go around to all the gyms, picking up these bounties, you know, traveling all over the earth. You and probably hit at least six gyms, if not 60 in one Squirrel. night. And nowhere, one knows where I'm going with this transition. <laughs> Even though I've said the entire giveaway. <laughs> you, you have no idea what I'm giving away, do you? No. We're giving away <laughs> Earth's bounty, red and black label, 660 mils. Oh, that must be nice. by um, the um, um, U.S. Vape Promotions. I can't do smooth transitions. It just does not work. If yeah, you well, get them yeah. smooth. No, that make... was that was super smooth. I like that one. That was very good. Like, I got the whole name out. And everybody's like, where's the transition? Already did it. Well, you know what it is, too? There's still a new, kind of a new sponsor. So, um, you know, I just haven't picked up on it yet. Is this the old Earth's bounty? You're thinking this... of no. You're thinking of Boba's bounty, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of Earth's bounty, the one that came in the like syrup jars. Oh, I have no idea. I have to go see if this is the old. What what flavor was it? I got yeah, uh, vape meats. I was drunk. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Do they still sell Boba's bounty? The same I mean, one. I, I, last time I looked, they did. They just released a new batch of original Boba's Bounty. Yeah. Oh, okay. <coughs> There's a lot of the older vape companies closed up. Like Raw. Remember Raw Vapor? <laughs> They're gone. Um, which was sad because I like Raw. <coughs> uh, they've been they've been closed a while though. I didn't know if Alien, whatever it was, uh, was still um, was still around because um, you know just sign of the times a lot of the older stuff you know closing up because people super tea pro very <laughs> yeah yeah pro very well ave did have something going for it back in the day they were one of the first to do like all vg yeah because the guy was allergic to pg that's why <laughs> That's why, and back then, all the ones that did have PG had, like, the the name would start in PG, probably so he wouldn't accidentally vape it. <laughs> you know, it's funny, if you go to ProVeryFuel.com, they still have a website. Um, for juice, yeah. For the juice, but they also sell some of their P- PVs, um, like the uh, original ProVery satin and the... Um, oh, shit, radius. how much? Oh, they're, they're, st- they're, they're like 60 bucks still. 
Um, but uh, I still have my untouched, unopened uh, dragon, dragon mini that Tiger got me. It might, it might be worth something one day. I miss my old Proveri V2 Black mini. That and um, what was the Proveri clone? The, um, the original took two uh, 350s. The V Max. The V Max. Well, Anakin had the SVD too. That was kind of like that. Yeah. Well, the SVD was much later. Yeah, but it still took. You could run two 350s in it. Yeah. Yeah, the V Max. It was like what? They're they're in uh, they're in um, they're in series. Yes, they're in series. Oh, that's dangerous. You gotta marry your batteries. Tape them. Remember that? You gotta marry your batteries. Yeah. Those are the fun. Well, days. you're still well, supposed to marry batteries for any uh, any dual. I mean, I try to as much as I can. You're supposed to still marry batteries. Yes. My batteries are so mismatched right now. But... <laughs> the the problem with the people taping their batteries is back then with that battery tech back then, you had to rotate. This one was your master. Now it's got to be the slave, and they had to keep flip flopping because the master would always get slightly more discharged than the slave. Yeah. So. You had to number your batteries in sets. So this is set one, set two, set three. And then within the set, it had to be AB. AB and you had to remember <laughs> which was first, you know? Was it BA last time or was it AB? Uh, so, yeah. yeah to Welcome to the struggle when we had to walk uphill both ways through I, snow to I make used to me barefoot. I used to do a code when I bought batteries. It would be like, I would do like two digits of the year, two digits of the month, and then I would do letters so for, for however many I got in that batch, like A, B, C, D, or whatever, so that I could just look at them instantly and know how old they were, but also kind of have each one have its own unique identity. So like I kind of, like, like you said, you'd know like A and B go in this mod, C and D go in this one, or... You can reverse them, whatever, you know. You remember the old Panasonics? Oh, yeah. I found a, I found a home for my old Panasonics. And these are still labeled for when I had them when I were in mods. I'm the amazed they still work. And they still work. I had those green ones, and those things just just died. Just dead, like nothing. <laughs> no, no sign of life. <laughs> yeah, they have been... Uh, I buy these little... These are like little chargers for your cell phone. And all you do is basically take any two 18650s and put them in there, and it turns it into whatever ma value it is. And these are like two bucks. Uh, so I, I, all my old, old batteries, I know it's not good for a mod, but still hold a charge well, turn them into these. But, okay, so anyhow, back to the giveaway. The US of 8 Promotions has all kinds of cool shit on there. And what they're giving away, since it's actually the real Earth's bounty, what I remember from that juice, it was fucking phenomenal. Like, I always got it. I was like, this is a fucking cool bottle. And then I took it home, sobered up, and I vaped the shit. And it you was remember like, what it tasted like? Yeah, it was a custard, the one I had. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's a brand. It's not a flavor. Right, right. No. Uh, the uh, What they're giving away is the red and black labels. I forget what flavor I had from them, but it was fucking phenomenal. I want to say it was like cream brulee or some bullshit like that back then. I'm sure it's got a different name now because nobody buys like mainstream juice that doesn't have like unicorn farts or tears or Syria killer. You know, it's got to be cool with the kids nowadays. It's got to be out there representing with gang signs and whatnot. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, by the uh, way, I had noticed, by the way, like over the years, Court had picked up these. This is just a little tip if you happen to have one laying around. A lot of flashlights, like ones that you might just get in a, like a store, like a random like LED flashlight somewhere that's about yo big. Um, if you open them and there's a little white plastic thing that takes three triple A's. If you just take that thing and fucking throw it away, you can stick an 18650 in there and it just works perfectly. Because the voltage works out to about the same, and uh, you know, so that's a good use for for uh, old old vaping batteries. I have qu uh, quite a few like alloy-looking ones that she got from who knows where she got them, but they all had that little three AAA holder in them, and I just went, 
Wait a second. <laughs> just funny. One day I took the, took the fucking thing out, threw an 18650 in, fit perfectly, lit up perfectly, and I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> you mean this thing? Yeah, that little cheesy, yeah, exactly. I told him to take my mod apart to do it. Fuck. Oh, Miss Trixie has a good tip for everybody in the room. She says, Harbor Freight gives those flashlights away for free. So there you go. You yeah, stop by Harbor really Freight easy. and... Real, Do some shopping. You got to use for your old batteries. Also, use the twenty percent off coupon. So wherever you're buying, you get twenty percent off. Yeah, like Harbor Freight's like the freebies. fast tech of hardware. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. yeah. I mean, if you're gonna buy one, buy one for an eighteen six fifty. But if you may find that you have one of those laying around somewhere, like I did, I just I came across, especially when we were moving from the old place, I came across a couple. That were like that, that had that little AAA holder thing in them, and I just went, yeah, <laughs> fucking vaping battery in there, boom, yeah, that's better. Here you go. <laughs> this is the Dollar Walmart special. Wonder if it'll work. I think my 18650 is just a little too big. Well, someone in the room, let me see yeah. here. Where did I see that? Where did I see that? Uh, Scorpio, -O, I love saying your name. Uh, he says an 18500 bits. Perfect. So maybe it depends on the flashlight. Some are longer than others. Yeah, um, I have the ones that I got from Fast Tech that, and, and Gearbest, the ones that take four 18650s and like light up the room. Turns yeah, like that one here. Yeah, the ones that I found just laying around happen to be the length of a 18650 fit, but I, I could imagine there might be some that are similar, uh, that are shorter, where you'd have to use a um, 18500 instead, but uh, none of them. Yeah, mine needs an 18500. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That's just what, what we randomly had. I don't know where Court got them. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just looking at uh... so USV promotions go over there check out their juice yeah now uh, uh, yeah. paradigm distributions.com I believe is the website uh, Brad I'll check that one out I'm going to copy that off and look that up later yeah I'm just looking now to see what else they have going on over there yeah it's just just, just juice it, it's it's worth contacting them if you have a shop because I believe they have a lot more than juice, but it's their wholesale. They don't. They're not gonna be like, "Hey, random vapor, buy all, buy forty, you know, fucking Vupu drags." <laughs> well, you know, forty Vupu drags. That could be. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna get that anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, let's do this. One lucky winner gets how many bottles? Uh, I believe, um, Tiger, can you help me out? I'm changing batteries. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let me cut over to my other screen so I can do that. Uh, we are looking at 660 mils from Earth's Bounty Red and Black Label. Damn. Yeah, nice prize. Now, does, is that to say you're ready for the draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll cut over to the other screen and draw us a name for our winner. And uh, we'll see how fast this comes up to now because it was a little slow last time. I think we've got our winner in the room. Uh, I see it. Uh, bu 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 bu. Nightbot, if you'd like to switch to Dark Tech. No, no. Is it the David McBenj, or did you say that one already? David McBenj. It yeah. is David McBenj. Congratulations, David McBenj. We need you to email winners at modenvy.net. That's winners at modenvy.net. Let us know that you won the 660 mils from Earth's Bounty from the red and black label. Include your screen name, your real name, your address information, and your preferred nick level as well. And they will uh, try to get as close to that as possible, I imagine. So uh, congratulations once more, David McBenge. And the rest of you can visit U.S. Vape Promotions at http colon slash slash i'm being really thorough tonight www dot 
Paradigm Distro. That's Paradigm Distro dot com. Congratulations, winners. Okay, why did this change power rating? <coughs> what? <coughs> Talk about <coughs> My mod decided to go from 120 powerful to 220 normal. Hmm. Uh, Weird. I don't know. Maybe it's like a chick. It likes to change its clothes a lot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Um, now, let's see here. One second. Just checking out a few things. Now, are we still doing... Um, uh, we're still doing um, Isagot posts now, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I'm just trying to... This on the yeah. every week thing. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Um, now, also, um, I just got an a email message. Give me a second uh, for 101, actually. Um, what 101 say? Did you say you paid more than a dollar for web hosting? Um, because you weren't here for that. No. <laughs> he got so pissed off at us. Yeah, was <laughs> he was mad. Oh. Uh, he had a valid reason. Well, well, well this is a valid reason. I can't say. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, he's uh, he's having a, an e juice sale right now. It's all Mad Hatter juice for guys out there who like Mad Hatter. Uh, that's like, um, it's the like uh, popcorn babes. They sell the cereals, the donuts. It's it's a uh, it's a good um, it's a good juice line. Use coupon code. I love 101. Again, I love 101, and you'll get 25% off all Mad Hatter juice. So basically, uh, 19.99 for 120 mils. Take 25% off that, and that'll be your price. Um, not, not too shabby. You, you'll have to tell me the story with 101 later. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that one. Or just remember, it was your idea. <laughs> Now, give me a sec here. Uh, blah, blah. Now, I believe Med Hatter also sells Nick Salts, too. Um, now, there is a difference between nicotine and nicotine salts. Okay? Nicotine salts are specifically designed for certain mods and certain tanks. Yeah. Um, so, I, now, it'll work in a normal mod, but I would probably not do it. Uh, because it's usually tends to be a little stronger and its formulation is a little different. Uh, there are tanks out there that are specifically designed for nicotine salts. No, not bad salts, guys. <laughs> nicotine salts. For instance, the Jewel. Okay, the Jewel is Nick salts. Okay, stuff like that. Uh, now um, they sell regular juice too, but they also have their salt line, which I, I really don't know the difference between Nick salts and regular nicotine i just know that it's a different formulation nick salts are closer to like what wta used to be okay but um instead of being it's a lot of chemistry it's a lot of chemistry okay but basically nick salts are a lot higher milligram of nicotine yeah but you get a lot less absorption and there's other shit that goes with it Right, and it's a lot more expensive than normal you juice too. Like thirty yeah. mils of Nick salts will cost you twenty bucks, where you can get one hundred twenty mils of regular Nick for, you know, around the same price or cheaper. So. Oh, sorry about that. I'm glad you mentioned that nitro because we did have a comment in the room. Um, someone said the Nick salt isn't cool. Why in the heck are people vaping fifty milligrams? Mm -hmm. So it's really important to understand that they it, that. The measurement is different than normal e-juice that we've become accustomed to. So, um, Nick salts are more. Uh, unfortunately, some of the vapors here won't understand this. Mix Nick salts are more like when we started vaping. Fuck me and Joe started. You start what? 48, 50? Mm -hmm. 48 milligram. It was it was nothing because we're vaping at yeah le less than two watts. Yeah, you got it. People constantly forget that, that Nick delivery is directly tied to the wattage you vape at and the vapor production, right? If you see a big cloud, guess what? Percentage of that cloud is Nick, right? So 
if you're vaping, like you said, two, three watts and this tiny little puff comes out, and a device like that, yeah, you can use 40 or 50, but if you have something like fucking this, that would kill you, you know, because this is, it's all relative. It's a, it's a percentage of that cloud is Nick, so, you know, that's why. Yeah, your delivery system is always, um, is always important. Also, something, say, like an Enjoy Daily is going to be 30 milligrams. Yeah, because okay. look at the little tiny but little puff that comes out of that thing. It's it's exactly, yeah. and it also gives you the thump that and, you know. This is really meant for people who are trying to quit smoking. So that thump, you t like if you're vaping eight, a uh, six milligram big mod with huge clouds, you're probably not going to get that thump you're used to when you first started mm -hmm. first when you when you smoke cigarettes. For those of you who don't know what the thump is, it's that kind of when you in it. Yeah, that that throat thump. That hitch between that, your throat and your lung. I, I'm the only person I know. I never, ever got over that. That Well, actually, I believe Basardo from what I've read, is like that, too. But I never got over that. I still have to have a thump. That's a huge reason why my Alder Vape is on this mod and this flavor and everything. It's all about that thump for me. I have to feel throat hit. It, my <coughs> brain doesn't think, <coughs> like, it isn't satisfied unless I, I feel that. Like... I don't know why. I'm weird. I'm like, very few people are like that. I know they're out there, but there's not a lot of people that need throat hit anymore. I'm just weird. I never got over it. Right. And throat hit, you're never going to get usually from direct lung. Uh, you're going to get it from going from mouth to lung. Well, that's what's nice is for the people that are still converting off of smoking, there is now a setup that will cater exactly what you want. So, like, you might want the throat hit there's something out there for you like i personally smoke camel wides one of my hard parts was i never got heat off of the old mods where like when i would sit there in a hot box of fucking camel you got heat off of that because it's the wide gauge fucking cigarette you know you just you're pulling all that right into your mouth so when i first switched i, I was getting my nick but i wasn't getting the heat it felt like i was I was sitting there doing a fucking nebulizer, basically. <laughs> See, now, on the opposite, I, I don't like when vapor gets too warm. Like, I actually like it a little on the cooler side. Not cold, but I don't want, when it starts to get hot, like, it kind of bugs me. So, like, it's weird how we're all different. Like, what what part of vaping satisfies us? Everybody is different. So some people, it's all vapor production. Some people's heat, like you. Some people's throat hit, like me. Some people, it's just pure flavor. I mean, it's just different for everybody. everybody. Some people's um, mentality, like, they can't have too big of a cloud, but they can't have too small of a cloud. It's got to look like they're smoking a cigarette. Yep. Yeah, and even and even uh, something like, uh, for me, I if if I could still vape cardamizers, I would. Oh, God. Could you, you know? imagine if we had a show where all of us were just fucking vaping Thunderheads now? See, see yeah. I love cardamizers. I <laughs> and That's all it, you would hear the entire well, show. Here's another part of it, too, that doesn't get talked about a lot. But one of the reasons I'm still an MTL junkie, I mean, I really am. The only time I do like direct lung is pretty much doing vaping shows. Um, is, And you don't really hear people talk about this, but the length of the draw. When you do an MTL, it's long. Like, if it's a really tight draw, like something that's matching a cigarette, you, you know, it's like seven, eight seconds. Whereas when you're hitting this thing, it's like maybe one or two seconds. I mean, it's just it's like breathing through a straw. It's just boom, done. You know. Whereas with that tight draw, you're sitting there, you know, for like a little while. And I I think part of it because that was the the only style when I started. I got used to that that sort of extra satisfaction for those extra few seconds. I know that sounds crazy, but I kind of like that that length of time. It's like you're kind of hanging out in there for those few seconds kind of enjoying it whereas like with this it's just like boom it's done you know it's just in out like it's so fast uh i like i get more satisfied by having those extra few seconds of, of flavor going on you know it's, i know it's Didn't weird Bo but... wasn't there something called cardamizer gate or something like that from bogue they started bogue gate bogue gate when they changed their fucking polyfill <laughs> and it had that nasty ass fucking taste. The burnt flavor, yes, yes. Pipisardo did a whole. It turned into Bogate. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> God, but, we sound like a bunch of fucking dinosaurs. I mean, 
who sound like some old guys that have just broke out like a 12 pack sitting around on the porch being like you damn kids get off my lawn speaking of a 12 pack why don't we go ahead and do some bird city all right there we go good nice one Yay. very nice and then there's one last thing i'll say that it's kind of funny do you remember how the early regulated mods and maybe some still do had that 10 second cutoff yes oh the I safety cutoff I used to run up against that all the time. I, I'm okay with the safety cutoff. The one I hated was the auto I would atomizer. Get, I would clean. get annoyed because there were times that I would actually hit the mm -hmm. end of that 10 and like I'd want to go another second <laughs> and the thing already shut off on me. <laughs> how, how many people had the MVP that went into the clean cycle for them? What the hell was that? No, I never heard that. Oh my God, you never ran across that? Oh, it was fucking horrible. When the puff counter on your MVP one went to 999 and you took your next puff, it went into atomizer clean mode where it would fire the battery until the battery ran out of juice to Get burn off your coil. Get the fuck out of here. Really? I swear to God. I, had I swear a, to God. I had a V1, but I always, I guess because when you would pull the battery, or, or somehow, or no, you didn't pull the battery, it was internal, but I never, I guess I reset it all the time. Because mm -hmm. I think if you power power cycled it, or something would make it reset, it was easy to have it reset all the time. So yeah, if you it, turned it off and on, it would reset. Yeah, so I never, I'd never let it get anywhere near that number. <laughs> A thousand puffs, it would go into auto-fucking atomizer wow, destroy that, yeah, mode. That, I never, that crazy. never happened to me. I definitely had the V1, too. Wow, yeah. I just remember, I think it was Eva um, <laughs> had, uh, had like, like go nuclear thermal on it. So I forget, remember that one? The, the battery was loose inside and it, it pierced the it pierced the, the, the lithium ion. The uh, gripper uh, mod. Oh, was it the gripper? And it just went, I, I think it was, I think it was Eva. Took a picture well, of it. I think she's here tonight. Was so you, if, Eva, uh, did, you, did you take a picture of like your, it was like melted everywhere? I still that I'll never forget. So remember we talked about the SVD before. Remember it used to take the two 350s, like, and you would supposedly get a little bit more power, a little bit better battery life if you ran it that way versus one battery. Because remember it was telescoping. You would screw it to adjust for the different length between those two battery setups. Mm. Uh, so Court, and this is in our early days of vaping, she saw that she knew that that mod could take the two batteries, right? So. Like that, somewhere along the line, she grabbed my K100, which was one of my first mechanics. Oh, God! <laughs> and she just had the genius idea oh, I'll just use those two little ones like we do in the other mods. So she put the two batteries in the fucking K100. We were in the kitchen and she fired it. And it's just all I saw was like black smoke billowing out of the fucking, <laughs> just coming out sideways out of the thing. Oh, <laughs> like no. I wanted to freak out, but I was also laughing like so hard. I was like, oh my God, that's funny. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh... And then I had to explain to her. She's like, well, the two batteries work in the other one. Why doesn't it work in this? I'm like, oh, well. And then I had to go into the whole mechanical thing. It was funny. Uh, the early days when you could oh, die, yeah. baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, who made the MVP? Anakin. Uh, Anakin. Anakin. Yep, the MVP. The first one that you could charge your <laughs> cell phone with it. Uh, you know, actually, the MVP V1 is responsible for me being a vapor, technically. Because I've told that story, but I went, to, you know, for a work thing. I went outside with all the smokers, and it was, everybody was smoking. There was this one guy vaping, and he had an MVP with, with the iClear 16 on it. And I remember, you know, now you got to remember back then... That thing was producing way more of a cloud. All I had ever seen or thought that vaping was, was one of these things. Not even as good as this, like a really shitty one of these, you know? So when I saw the cloud coming out of that, with the cloud that even that comes out of that back then still blew something like this out of the water, especially what these were that many years ago. And uh, so, and he was a friend, so he let me try it. And that's what sold me on vaping. Because when I tried it, it was so much more satisfying than something like this was. And I didn't know that devices like that existed. And then he told me, oh, yeah, and you could charge, you could charge your phone with it. 
and he, I saw the control, so the, the geek in me was instantly attracted to the, you know, the di digital display with the voltage up and down and everything. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. So I immediately, that night, I ordered, like, I ordered one, and that's really what sold me on the whole, that's what started me. So the MVP V1 will always be something special to me, because it's, it's what convinced me, you know. Aww. Well, as nice as this has been, the way you guys are squirreling out, I'm starting to think you've already uh, split a 12 pack or something. Because uh, we're, but we still have one to give away. Oh, okay, all right. Sorry, Tiger. <laughs> King Coster. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> <Well, the> <laughs> Would anybody like to talk about our sponsor? King Coster. Um, that's all right. you need to know. All right. All right. Uh, now, uh, if you get over, if you go over there, they also are responsible for a whole bunch of different lines of juice. It's not just Brew City, but uh, Brew City was their first, and uh, I think probably still their most popular line. Um, and uh, when you get your giveaway, it'll be 12, uh, 12 bottles. I don't know if they come in the little handy dandy six packers with the glass bottles because I always thought that was cool. It was just like this little like six case, six pack case, and uh, you get two of those. Um, but uh, anyway, get over there. Now, I think it's coupon code, yes, mod NV25 and the percent sign. Again, mod NV25 and the percent sign. We'll get you 25% off your total order over at brewcityjuice.com. So one lucky winner is going to win 12 bottles of juice. Let's do this. All right. Well, we have our winner. Emily Lawson. Emily Lawson, congratulations to you. We need you to email us. Sales at brewcityjuice.com. That's sales at brewcityjuice.com. Let them know that you won the 12 pack of Brew City and No Name on Mod Envy. You will need to include your screen name, your real name, your address information, and of course the nick level you prefer. Please include that as well. And they will give you instructions for remitting the one dollar that you will need to remit to claim your prize. Congratulations to you, Emily Lawson, and the rest of you can check them out at brewcityjuice.com. Congratulations, winners. All right. Um, so, uh, anyway, back to what we were saying. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Tiger, you are now officially the squirrel wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> That's actually what we used to call uh, Pammy on my Tuesday show. Because we would oh, just. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, because we would just fucking be all over the place. And so Pammy would like. Like, just fucking crack the whip at the, so we'd actually get through all our giveaways. So she was officially the squirrel wrangler for years. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I, those are serious shoes to fill. So I don't know that I can quite live up to that, but I will, I will do my best. To... Well, we were really bad. We would just fucking just <laughs> <laughs> go all over the place. And she'd have to just, and she would just start slamming us in chat. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Well, I like squirreling out. It's always fun to squirrel. Okay, so you, you want to feel old as a vapor? Sure. They're talking about doing a 10-year reunion for VaporCon. It's been 10 years? VaporCon? <laughs> wow. No, wait. The last Mod Every show was, was six five-year anniversary? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that means I was vaping. I've been vaping six going. Oh, so so this year will be my seventh year of vaping. So that means VaporCon was three years prior to me vaping. Wow, that means Smokey must be not. Smokey must be pushing a decade, or at least nine years. Because I know he was a few years before I started, and I'm going on seven. So I'm the gonna... baby. I'm gonna hit five years in July. <laughs> now. Do you wonder what would have happened to vape shows if they stopped bringing, like, Porsches and fucking Ferraris and shit like that to them? Yeah, they'd be better. <laughs> but my question is, would we have got some of the innovations in our mods? Because I know there's a mod out there that I think was developed at a vape show. Because they tried to throw in all the fucking buzzwords. I mean, they have Rev because you have to have like some revision of it. But for some Damn. reason it starts with Rev. They have <laughs> tech, because that's important. And then, you know, to match all the fucking cars at the vape shows, they have the GTS. 
Look, look at Chunk. He's going to hit 11 years. That's that's amazing. Man, that must have been, he must have gone through all the blue foam, tea bag, all that shit. <laughs> Chunk's been <coughs> Actually, <coughs> Rich Kavina has been teabag more than once. So. <laughs> Why don't we fucking give this mod away? Fucking, fucking give it away. Yeah, let's fucking give it away. It's the RevTech GTS mod at 120. Okay, now that's is that that's the is that the sport or no wait that's the... it's the RevTech GTS. All right, let me because there's so many different RevTechs. Now. Okay, hold on, let me see. Rev... Rev Tech GTS. I know it's gonna have that sporty look to it, but just give me a second. <laughs> there it is. Rev GTS, a 230 watt box mod. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one actually looks cool. This is the one I said. It kind of looks like a sporty, like odometer readings on it. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm so telling you, they got the idea. From going to vape shows with the fucking Ferraris there. They're like, fuck it! We're gonna have a Ferrari! We're gonna have a fucking Ferrari mod! Now, basically what this does is it has two screens. Uh, one, The first screen, uh, they both look like odometers, but the first screen is going to be uh, your wattage, and then how long you've held the fire button. So you'll see it kind of go up and down, kind of like your... your uh, odometer. And your, your odometer. Uh, now, are they giving away any juice with this or just the mod? 120. Okay, so basically they're giving away the the, the that particular um, bundle that they sell, and it's sixty nine ninety five. Um, I'm actually a pretty pretty cool deal. Um, I'm just looking. Uh, the button placements actually kind of look interesting where they're at. Now I wonder, can you change? I think you can. Can you change the screen? I think you could change the screen color and I think the graphics as well on the screen, the LED screen. Either way, it looks just really sad. You soon, you know what's funny? You're probably going to start needing like screen savers, uh, screen protectors for your uh, for your mods soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yes, I have the uh, Otter Box for my uh, <laughs> <laughs> my smoke <laughs> alien. <laughs> All right, now uh, as far as their juice is concerned, uh, they they sell great juice. There's some of their juice is as. Um, Shake that ass. Um, Nitro say. Phenomenal. But, Phenomenal. Uh, Phenomenal. <laughs> Is that but, like my catch word? Well, I think it's funny because there's a, there's a guy who dresses up as an Italian old lady. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what Italian moms say? And all the time it's like, it's phenomenal. No, it just reminds me of that. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so they have different, um, they have a, a whole bunch of different, um, uh, styles of uh, of juice within their line, like they'll have like vape shop of horrors. They'll have um, that one that the girl uh, pop the one with the pop and cherry or whatever it was that they have. Uh, I forget what it's called. It is called yeah. They have the little shop of horrors, and then they have uh, the oh my gosh series. Oh yeah, she's dripping line. Uh, let's see what her she's dripping line consists of. It consists of uh, pop in, uh, pop cherry, strawberry short bitch, and birthday bitch. <laughs> ah, gotta love those names. Um, Did you say pop cherry? Pop cherry. What the fuck? That's the second one <laughs> in like two weeks. That's really close. <laughs> yeah, it's pop cherry. It's supposed to be a cherry pie. <laughs> uh, and then they, of course, uh, they, they have their horror series, which will have like Silence of the Clouds and uh, let's see, Nightmare on Babe Street and the whole, you know, the whole nine. So they have all kinds of cool, um, uh, really, really cool uh, flavors. My favorite, of course, is from the I'm like, Oh My Gush line, which is Green Goblin, which is a uh, like a uh, sour apple uh, lime. It tastes green. Is the way I tell people. It just tastes green. It's really good. <laughs> I love uh, how you say shit tastes like colors. Well, it does. It tastes green. You look at it and go, yep. Like a green Skittle, you know? Motherfucker, that shit doesn't taste like fluid. Fluid's the only thing that fucking tastes green. Well, yeah, I can see your point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I kind of think green apple when I see green, too. 
I don't think green oh. apple. I think fluid. But I, I'm more likely to vape a green apple than I am fluid, so, yeah. Fluid, I have, a lot. We, we've, I have to be in a, a certain got, mood for, for fluid. Uh, we've got a useful tip in the chat that I wanted to share with our viewers. Chunkmeister, thanks to you for bringing that to our attention, uh, talking about the Rev mod that we are giving away tonight from Fuggin. And he said, uh, can you let people know that if they have a Rev mod already, they really need to update the firmware to version 2.8. It's over at RevTech.com. That's RevTech.com, R-E-V-T-E-C-H.com. He says the new firmware is much faster, more reliable, and gives you extra dashboards. So, very cool. <laughs> Thanks, Chunk. Awesome sauce. Does it have USB compatibility, and does it connect to the internet? That's... <laughs> 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 well, that I can't say for sure, but uh, he's added that goes for all three of the RevTech mods. So thank you very much, Chunk. Great information. Yes, thanks, Chunk. Um, they also had, uh, back in the day, they had mods that had, um, remember they used to have uh, uh, picture screens where you can actually upload pictures to the mod? And mm -hmm. then they had um, Bluetooth compatibility and an MP3 player. The iJoy Muse. Yeah, I was just like, come on, man. The giant butt plug. The giant butt plug. Oh. You don't remember that one? No, I do remember the butt plug. That was um, a really funny-ass mod. I did uh, not notice a cooling effect on Shake That Ass. <laughs> <laughs> just being honest, somebody well, no, ass. Like, yeah, you know, when they, oh, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, my, yeah. my wife will slap me. All right. <laughs> No, no, no. Just trying to keep us on track. We're halfway through the list and three quarters of the way through the show. So um, shall I roll for a winner? Yeah, yeah. please. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> Before this goes in more off the rails. Uh, Carl, Johnson. Carl Johnson. Carol Johnson. That's Carol. Carol Johnson. Carol Johnson. Congratulations to you. We need you to eat. Email winners at modenvy.net. That's winners at modenvy.net. Let us know that you won the RevTech GTS mod and 120 mils from Fug and Vapor. Congratulations. Please include your screen name, your real name, your address information. I remind you this giveaway is U.S. only. They're also going to need to know what flavor and nick level you choose. So head on over to fugandvapor.com to choose those options. Congratulations, Carol. Yes, congratulations. And I will be right back because I have to get another phobia. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is the awkward silence moment where we all just stare at each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, cut to South Park. Blink, blink. Should I assume the position? Blink, blink. <laughs> you know the classic. So what y'all vaping on? Yeah, this is the that, that this is the position for that. You have to be in a very specific position. And then you gotta start <laughs> saying. Lean. Then you gotta start saying hi to everybody that comes in. Hi, Charlooch. Hi, hi Squirt. John M. <laughs> <laughs> and then, hey Don S. I mean, and then you wait, and then you wait for it so you could savor it. I got me a half double somersault, triple twisted, shine <laughs> spick of my job on a point oh nine. <laughs> yep. I mean, we we've done a lot of reminiscing on this show about the old times of vaping and how far we've come. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I think that has helped us come that far is the very affordable juice that you can get now. That's actually fucking amazing quality. I mean, I remember back in the day we were joking about fluid. I was paying like fucking $35 for like a 20 mil bottle. I was paying more than a fucking dollar a mil. Like you said, it but, was like cash. Right. <laughs> but now, but now, you can get 30 bit mills for six bills. I'm just saying. And it's phenomenal. And you don't have to know what like unicorn farts taste like, you know? You can just go on and get your vanilla cream donut and it's all good. You don't need to know, you know, what fucking laffy taffy wacky taffy is, you, you know? You, you can get your cinnamon danish, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you I like do, that. I... If you do want to spend a little more, I mean, you can go with something with a slightly fancier name, like Clockwork Custard. It still clues you in on what it is. 
it, it, it's clockwork how it's put together in this custard. It's like the best oh. custard ever. Uh, My mic is live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, holy mackerel. Well, what did I miss? Wow. Uh, I've, I've, been, I've been drinking this fake beer, uh, and it's giving me uh, a lot of, uh, let's just say, uh, I've been burping. That was a phenomenal fake beer belch. It didn't. It didn't actually make it through your mic. Surprising. At least I didn't catch it. <laughs> oh wow! I was worried because it made it through the headphones and <laughs> like, I think my hair moved a little. And, and well, well, well done. Well done. I, I give that a nine out of ten. Did he's you taste little, it? He's a little gay. No. <laughs> oh my god! Don't remind me. <laughs> 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 oh, I was taking. I don't know what was going on, but one day I had the worst, smelliest burps. <laughs> and we were in the truck. We're in the truck, and the windows are up, and the heat is on, and he lets this thing rip. And I, I had my mouth open for some reason. I was breathing in, and I was like, <laughs> I just tasted it. Oh no! Nothing, nothing could be worse than oh. a combination beer hot dog burp. <laughs> that has to be the worst smell <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I was this was like around the time I had just gotten out of the hospital and taking all kinds of different medications. My my gut is just yeah. I'm like I'm nauseous all the time, and I just let loose this like. <laughs> the tiger's like, oh, I can taste it. Like, I like how we were like on laser rails, <laughs> on track, oh, till Joe comes yeah. back and we're like tasting burps. <laughs> yeah, really, right? I know. Okay, well, amazing. yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to relive that like ever. <laughs> it's just like ever. No, never again. Oh, I had but to roll that window down. Um, what you do want to go back for more of is that phenomenal tasting juice from Baking Punch. Oh. That is right. That is right. And I've been watching as you were talking, Nitro. They saw it coming. Our viewers started posting their favorite flavors. Everybody well, now, now, you read the, now you read the things in the room and they're not so good. Now they're talking about Joe. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, scrolling back, yeah. uh, they love the Kentucky bourbon custard. That's one of Joe's absolute favorites. Uh, the pear cake oh my gosh that was so good all the donuts are terrific anything with dragon in the name because yes. they do a dragon fruit bl blends oh they are terrific dragon too. Crane and, apple and like really nitro good. said yeah and uh, the dragon banana fruit is terrific too um that but it, cream donut. it's nice because you know what you're getting you know what you're getting. If the if the name sounds like it's your thing, it's pretty much a sure thing that you're going to have the vape. So uh, even, yeah, I love even their pina that colada everybody is, has different favorites. Even their pina colada is really good. It doesn't have that obnoxious coconut that a lot of other ones T I've tried. Tannic oil taste. Yeah, you know, TFA, you know, that shitty aftertaste. <laughs> it, it, like, theirs doesn't have that. It, it's, it's really nice, the pina colada. Because I, I like them in real life, like... I remember uh, living in Florida, and they used to, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but they'd have these stands, and you'd get these, like, cartons of, of pina colada, just virgins, just, like, but actually made with, like, real pineapple and, like, real coconut milk, and, and they'd have these stands, like, this is probably in the 70s, but uh, the most amazing thing you ever drank. It was so good. So, one lucky winner, to, or, excuse me, four lucky winners tonight are going to get $20 off of a $24 purchase. Right, so you get, you'll get you two 120s in glass for about four bucks, basically, roughly, in that area. Somebody says, right. they still have a bottle of pizza juice. You know what? Pizza's, pizza e-juice is nasty. That and, uh, do you guys remember um, the crab juice? Oh, God. AV, oh, or from uh, Blue Mist. Oh, that stuff was... Never tried that, luckily. Although I, I tried plenty of other bad things, like stuff that sat in my mods for years. <laughs> uh, there was another one. Oh, uh, oh yes. Uh, Pinkinthestink.com. I oh, mean, uh, Pink in the Stink is by... Um, oh, Avail. Avail, and it was a blueberry... No, no, it was a... Bl Blue cheese tuna fish. It is yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that was terrible. 
It was a dare juice. They did it a few uh, vape meats. Let me tell you, it made crab juice taste like a, a divine vape. That's, oh. You got to wonder where they get the flavorings for that. <laughs> I mean, I don't see TFA Alrighty. moving a lot of like tuna flavor or blue cheese flavor. Like, it's probably not something that they're making a whole lot of. <laughs> okay, guys, call out the All winners. All right. Tigers. The winners. We have four winners I've been drawing in the background. They are Vape Dave, Oversight, Canadian Vapor, and Spendy. Once more, Vape Dave, Oversight, Canadian Vapor, and Spendy. Congratulations, all of you. And you need to follow the instructions that Axel Beam has so conveniently put in the room for you. You need to head on over to vapingwatch.com, create an account for yourself. Once you have an account, you will need the other link. It's a Google form. That is the winner's form that you will fill out to claim your $20 off your $24 purchase. Congratulations, each and every one of you, and the rest of you can visit them and see all the terrific flavors we've talked about and save lots of money over at vapingwatch.com. All right, so I got a question because I don't follow sports. The Gators are like a football team in, like, fucking Florida, right? Yep. What color are they? I don't know. Like, what's the Gators' colors? Well, like, what fucking color uniforms do they wear? Well, I know a Gator itself would be... I, I would assume it would be green, but... Does, any, does anybody watch fucking sports here? Can somebody help me out with what color the Florida Gators are? Orange and blue. That's what I said. Orange and blue? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, orange and blue. So they are kind of cool and blue? Oh, boy. I'm smelling a really bad transition. <laughs> okay. I mean, like... Cool blue gators. Sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Does it sound like something you'd vape? Uh, I don't know. What do you think it would taste like? Shut the fuck up, fat man. This ain't none of your goddamn raspberry Gatorade or something. A blue raspberry Gatorade or something. Well, I believe if you go talk to your good friend Tony Monty, you can find out about the cool blue gator. It's his new flavor. Nice. That was a very, very involved transition. <laughs> yeah, we had to work for that shit. Jesus. That was detailed. That was detailed. Did he? Did he? Uh, he did homework. You, did he tell you the flavor profile or no? I know what it is. He didn't tell me anything. See, I I do my homework. Okay. I was stalking this page to find out because I'm looking for this one flavor that I used to get from him that I don't see there anymore. I haven't had the chance to talk to him yet, so. But I've been stalking the page to see if it comes back. So what is it? What? Uh, cool Blue Gator is Blue Gator. Uh, see? <laughs> <laughs> all that. <laughs> Sorry, you wanted more there? I gave you all the hype. Does he? Does he? Uh, does it have the electrolytes in it, though? That's the most important part. I don't know. We'd have to ask. Will it rehydrate Bruce. me when I vape. Will it solve my dry knuckles? <laughs> okay, Rip Trooper. Dry knuckles. Anyway. Um, oh God! Remember that whole scandal over that? <laughs> yes. Oh Jesus! It's got what plants crave. But um, no, I'm waiting for Elixir and Elixir Remix to come back. I don't see them on the website. Yeah, elixir. That was that a um, was that oh, a fruity flavor? Yeah, they're cereal flavor. They, he's got elixir there, but I don't see elixir remix. I mean, okay, so <laughs> we're we're obviously talking about e-cig outposts. Let me just throw this out here because everybody needs to know about golden Oreo, golden golden no, go do it. That's does he thing. does he still sell that? Can you still yeah. buy it? Yeah, you still can get golden no. You can even get golden no reserve. Yeah, limited. Um, they have a limited one seventy five mil. Yeah, um, he still does have Elixir, but I do not see Elixir Remix. Now, the Golden Oil Reserve, is that, like, more more steeped? Yeah. All right, yeah, because you know what? Golden Oil tastes way better when it sits for a little while. Um, it's like a custard it's gotta, base. It's of course get, it does. It's got to get, like, that nice dark amber color before you vape it. Because when you first get it, it's almost, like, clear yellow. Okay, your juice should look like this if you're a custard vapor. I'm just saying. It should look like custard. It should look like caramel. Look, like, this this juice started this color. This is a bottle of alcohol. Please don't vape. But 
It started this color, it's now this color. This is now vapor. But, um, no, so going off of, like, his standards there, uh, back when the when the cereal craze was going on, like, when everybody was trying to be the next thing, cereal vapes are fucking good. They are, if you can get rid of that lemony fucking pledgeness to them. One of the problems with it, though, is if you were a Fruity Pebbles vapor, you would get horrible vapor stuff. You would just stop tasting, like, everything in the fruity fucking palate because it would just be like, I'm done! Well, he came up with Elixir, an Elixir remix, and you would get a bottle of each. And as you're vaping down Elixir, when you get that vapor's tug, you would switch over to Elixir Remix, and it would instantly cure your fucking Vapor's Tongue until, like, 20 mils into that bottle, and you switch back to Elixir, and it would fucking instantly cure your Vapor's Tongue again. It was amazing, the Cloud Chasers. You're like, instant fix, it tastes the fucking same. Oh, that is really cool. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just a different formulation. It is. One had slightly more milk, one had slightly less milk, but because of how the balances were on the flavors, your your tongue stopped getting oversensitized by it, and you could just keep vaping the same basic flavor with more milk. Basically, it was like top of the bowl versus bottom of the bowl cereal. Mm, okay. Got you. You know, that's a cool theory. Bottom of the bowl, top of the bowl uh, cereal. This is actually cool. He has these limited versions of like some of his best flavors. Like Porn Star, remember I brought that up last week because I really like that one. Mm -hmm. He's got that in uh, limited, and then he's got Addiction as well, which is the other one that we talked about last week. So he's got all three of those uh, in these limited 175. So. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, now um, he also makes fantastic coffee. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Tony. Tony is a, an amazing juice maker. Um, I went to high school with this guy. And um, it's funny because, um, you know, it's vaping is a, it, even even now is still a small community compared to other niches in the world. And four years ago, when I when I met him, vaping was even smaller. And it was like, I could not believe this is the, this is the guy I went to high school with. You know what I mean? And then it turns out he's now an expert juice maker. And I'm just like, holy shit. So I went over, checked out a store in Point Pleasant. I it remember just, when we went, we actually did a show from there, and I remember him showing us that he basically, he couldn't find any coffee flavoring off the shelf from like TFA or Capella or any, any of the ones that he liked, so he would actually get beans and create his own extracts, which I always thought was really cool, you know? Yeah, yeah, he had like a filter. Yeah, it was a whole coffee setup. coffee grinds, yeah, yeah. and put, like, I don't know how exactly how we did it, but... Oh, I've seen it being, uh, seen it working, and it was really neat. I was like, "What are you doing? What is this weird like?" Yeah, I was impressed by that. <laughs> and they like were good. Coffee. I mean, I'm not normally a, like I have this weird thing about coffee vapes. I mean, it's not that I don't mind the flavor, but I drink so much of the real stuff. It's like I try to use vaping to like have things that I can't have in real life all the time, you know. But uh, I was still really. But he had so many like variations on it too. Like he had a whole. Remember, he had a whole line of them. That were, that were really, really good. good. Yeah. All right. So, what is he giving away tonight? Tonight, he's giving away to three lucky winners a fifty percent off <laughs> coupon. All right. So, guys, uh, that's that's a really nice giveaway. I know it's not an actual something sent to you in the mail, but uh, you're gonna get. 50 you get to do off. your own shopping. You get I'm to pick your own prize. <clears throat> so we I'll do have right our back, winners guys. in the room. I've been drawing them in the background, and we've got Matthew McGowan, Beast 13, and Arbins. Once more, that's Matthew McGowan, Beast 13, and Arbins. Congratulations, guys. We need you to email winners at modenvy.net. That's winners at modenvy.net. Let us know that you won the 50% off coupon at eSig Outpost and include your screen name, your real name, your address information as well and uh, we'll get you your coupon code for 50% off. Congratulations, everybody, and the rest of you. Visit them over at eSigOutpost.com. Congratulations, winners. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Where did Nitro go? He seems to have just left us. 
Uh, I don't know. Somebody was talking to him, and he he said he'd be right back. So, uh, give me. But just... mom. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, take a come shit. on, man. No. <laughs> <clears throat> We can, uh, okay, I'm just recording the winner so we, so we know who won, and, uh, yeah, all right, we got two, two left. Two, two left? Well, yeah. Okay. Two, just two. All right, Tiger, would you like to do a transition <clears throat> on one of them before Nitro gets back? <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> the most awkward transition of the night falls to me. Um... I just I, I I'm I'm stumped I, I I'm I'm bereft I'm I'm kind of out of um, out of ideas it's kind of like I, I feel like I, I'm I'm at the candy store and I'm broke I'm kind of like Richard might be the, the guy who makes e juice you know you know uh, 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 financially challenged Richard otherwise <laughs> otherwise known as broke dick. Oh God! I had it up before right. you did the transition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over to Broke Dick. Let's see what we got going on. Um, well, you while you're looking, I'll just remind our winner, our our winners, our potential winners, our viewers in the room that uh, tonight's prize is five one twenty mils. That's five one twenty mils, six hundred mils of juice to one lucky winner. So a very big, big very great prize. Okay, I just want to see if he has any new bank rolls out. No, nope, he's still rolling with the new bank roll number six, which is, um, give me a second here. I always get this one wrong because it, 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 the picture's deceiving. This is tropical fruit cheesecake with icing. Okay, and it's bank roll number six. Um, this is one of the bank rolls I have not tried. I'm not a fan of cheesecake because cheesecake can get kind of a sour taste to it sometimes. If it's not it's done gotta, right, it, it, it's, it's kind of like perfect. it's like yogurt. It's the same thing. If you get too heavy handed with it, it, it just shits the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. It just shits. The bed. <laughs> or the other one I like is, or it just goes tits up because <laughs> you have to visualize it. You know, <laughs> tits up. <laughs> I love um, that expression. I don't know why. It's just funny to me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to use it on Tiger later. All right, so um... <laughs> when you All visualize right. it, it's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I snorted vape. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so um, let's talk about some flavors um, now. Um, Oh, he actually made uh, Dollar Menu. All right, so that's the new flavor. Okay, so bankroll number five was the lemon cake, but now he's given it a flavor called Dollar Menu. Uh, I don't know why it's called Dollar Menu, but it's basically a um, uh, a lemon kind of like uh, angel food, whipped cream kind of flavor. Um, I've actually had it. It's pretty good. It doesn't taste like lemon flavor. Um, and um, my other flavor uh, that I love so much, uh, of course, is um, Payday, uh, which is probably his most uh, complicated flavor. I like that and, one a lot. And good. then um, another good one is the 15th, which is like a peanut butter banana pie, kind of like a fat Elvis. And then um, you got a bunch of other fruit flavors, you know, watermelon this, watermelon that, raspberry this. And then for those of you who like your tobacco, the overdraft is an RY4, which is a vanilla caramel tobacco. Um, now, over at Broke Dick, every day is a good deal. It's two one, uh, 120s for $23 shipped. Okay, so you don't pay any shipping. Now, uh, if you go over to see here go over to his merchandise because he's got some funny merchandise okay my favorite is the dick pick okay it's it's a guitar pick that says broke dick.com on it but it's great because if somebody says you know i want to you know can, I, can you send me a dick pick send him a, a broke dick dick pick <laughs> you know <laughs> and his t-shirts are kind of cool um I, I actually like to look at these. Um, I'm thinking about picking one up. I'm not sure though. 
There was a good uh, a good question in the room, and Scope answered too. And of course, he's a juice maker, so he knows. I just wanted to address it. Uh, there was one uh, va uh, vapor in the room who said uh, they like one of the flavors really a lot, but. Um, they suspect they're using an alcohol-based flavoring. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing that unless you're sensitive to that, and some vapors are. If that's you and you're a little sensitive to some of those flavorings, and Scope has suggested it too, leave them sit with the cap off. Scope's suggesting 24 hours. I was told cap it periodically and shake it to just kind of roll over the yeah. uh, solution you, a little bit. Let I it even used sit. to It'll, squeeze the air that's in there out and then let new fresh air come in and you know yeah but it I, lets I get it. some Sometimes, of that evaporate out yeah. and then it's not as 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 strong in that respect so that might help yeah. or yeah. maybe even longer maybe 48 hours and what some people do yeah. is they'll, they'll lay like a, a paper towel over the tops if, if you don't want any like dust or anything to get in there while the cap's off so yeah you have to pick the right place to do that <laughs> yeah, for sure so you don't want anything like falling into it yeah. uh now the um I've had out like um, certain flavors that are alcohol based. I remember there was a sugar cookie. I forget by a company back in the day, and man, did it taste like vaping, like actual booze. Um, you could just really taste that harsh alcohol kind of um, flavor, and that can happen. So yeah, the whole idea of uncapping it, let it evaporate. Um, I never thought to do that. That's a great. That's a great idea. It doesn't. It, it doesn't always fix it. You know. I remember, I, I don't want to throw them under the bus, but I got a flavor from a really hyped company uh, years ago, and it just had the nastiest aftertaste. And I tried the, you know, cap off, because it's really chemical kind of weird taste going on with it. And I tried the cap off thing, and I tried everything. It was just no saving it. <laughs> just couldn't, couldn't, uh, and it was expensive too, you know, like I bought into the whole fucking hype, and I was just like, I don't get it. Like, how does anybody like this? <laughs> hmm. It was weird. All right. So uh, head over to BrokeDick.com again. Uh, two 120s for $23 shipped. You can't go wrong. It's a great deal. Uh, and they, they make uh, mostly everything that will cover the board from cereal to, 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 to fruit to tobacco to um, sweets like pies and, and cookies and cakes. So... Um, Let's do this. One lucky winner is going to win. What is it? Six 120s or five? It's five, five. 120s for a total of 600 mils. All right. Let's do this. All right. We've got our winner in the room. There it is. Uh, Divi. I, I just. All right. I missed the last name. Hold on. <laughs> I want to hear you say it. Uh. Divi K. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Divi K. Divi Carolier, congratulations to you. I, I worry every time I say it. I want to get it so right, and I'm never completely 100%. But you know who you are, Divi, and uh, you are our winner for Broke Dick. You've got five 120s coming to you. How do you get them? You email winners at modenvy.net. That's winners at modenvy.net. Let us know you won the five 120s from Broke Dick. Please include your screen name, your real name, your address information. And, of course, we need to know what flavors and nick levels you prefer. So please head on over to brokedick.com to choose those options. And congratulations to you. Congratulations, winners. All right, who's next? I don't know, some fucking prick. Ah. Who? <laughs> uh, I, I only see one fucking prick in the room. <laughs> All right, so you must be looking at me. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the Vapor Joe's Network is giving away some kind of mod. One of the Majesty mods from... The Resin Majesty. Well, it's, maybe. It depends if it's in stock, if it's not in stock, because everything's been in stock, out of stock over there, but um, I'll, I'll get you something. Um... It'll be neutral, so it'll, it'll be good either for men or women. Um, now, uh, basically, the big news, of course, is Juice.Deals. <laughs> That'll be coming out uh, within a week or two. I'm just putting the final touches on it. Uh, basically, Juice.Deals is going to be a site for all your juice uh these deals and a place where you can come to find everyday low prices on juice. So, for instance, something like Broke Dick will always be there. 
uh, because uh, as part of the lineup because they just always have good prices on juice. But of course, you're also going to have deals that are like your 24 and 48 hour deals that have like, you know, Cosmic Fog or this or that or the other thing for, you know, really cheap. Um, and of course, you know, all the coupon codes that go with and, and such. Um, now, I'm toying with some things like uh, featuring people who review. Uh, I'm toying with um, a whole huge DIY section where people can go for those who like the DIY. We already have a great DIY section in Vaping Underground, but this will be where you can actually buy it. And, and it's all going to be in like one location where you can just go and find good Nick Bays, good flavorings, good, you know, beakers and hand gear and, you know, masks and things for people who are, who are still using, you know, high uh, 100 or 200 milligram Nick Bays. <clears throat> um, so places like uh, My Freedom Smokes and places like that, uh, Wizard Labs, places like that, you know, just will be featured in places, you know, for the DIY. So we're just going to have it all one location. So if you want to come and, you know, want to dabble in DIY, you can go there. If you're looking for good juice deals, you go there. If you want to read reviews, you can go there. Uh, and uh, it'll just be a, a, a fun little place. Then Vapor Joe's will probably be just the hardware <coughs> side of vaping, mods, tanks, and, and such. Uh, so uh, that should be open in about a week, week and a half, depending on uh, how long it takes to, uh, to swell the archives. Uh, so uh, you go there and you only see you don't see one post, <laughs> you know. So anyway, I'm going to be giving away one lucky winner, a um, a Majesty, either the mod or the kit, depending on what's in stock, what's not in stock, and of course the patented vaping underground bumper sticker. <clears throat> so um, let's do this. All right, rolling for the winner. There we go. Nightbot is uh, Grumpy Ed being kind of lazy posting. Grumpy Ed, congratulations. Cool. We need you to email winners at modenvy.net. That's winners at modenvy.net. Let us know that you won the Regin Resin Majesty from Vapor Joe's. Include your screen name, your real name, and your address information. Congratulations, Grumpy Ed. And of course, you guys can visit VaporJoes.com to make sure you always know where the best deals in vaping are. Uh, yes. And damn it, Janet, I did not forget about you since we were we were in Pennsylvania for a week. So uh, I will get your your giveaway from last week out with the winner from this week's giveaway at the same time. So I didn't forget about you. All right. So we, st we it's exactly midnight. At least on my clock it is. So we did it, Tiger. Right on time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah. All right. Wait, well, because she that, was I so thought... afraid. Yay, team! <laughs> I thought that happened in intercourse. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So until next week, Tiger. What? Say, say what? Get. Oh, I don't say that. I love them. I don't. All right. Nitro will Un say that shit. Un <laughs> Get the fuck okay, out. Next week. Get the fuck out. <laughs> right, there we go. It's my house. And if you don't like it, you get the fuck out. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. to be a stupid motherfucker to get five on your day off. Oh.
You smoke crack, don't you? This is a giant cock. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. Now don't call me Shirley. But my tubby husband here, he's 100% queer. He loves the cops. 